Hey guys! It's Rihanna and Mom. <laughs> and today we have a huge haul. Well, not that huge. It's, it's a medium size haul. It's a good size haul. It's a haul. Um, okay, what do you want to start with? Mm -mm, this is really good pie. Invite. Cheap pie from a party store, 10 out of 10. It's a banana cream. You know what? We need to shrink down all your subscribers. Shrink them down. Shrink them down. Put them in our pocket and I can feed them these pie crumbs. Uh, it's my pie. I found it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, Ta -da! I, got, I got a bag. <laughs> No, I got, um, the new, uh, I got Jared Padalecki's new campaign shirt, and it's purple this time, and it's his one anniversary, one year, ooh, did I just show everyone our address? Your what? Our address. Maybe they'll send you free stuff. <laughs> and it's his, uh, one year anniversary shirt, but I got a tank top, because I, like, tank top. <laughs> Because I like tank tops, but it says, love yourself first, always keep fighting, and I just, I like it. I should have worn it, but... Jared! I'm definitely going to wear it and support the awesomeness of the campaign. Um, All the pretty girls love Jared Padalecki. Alright. Okay. Do you want to do... Dun, dun, dun. So we went to Vault of Midnight, Yay! which is our the best, favorite. It's the best comic book store it, in the world. It really is. And so we're going to show the comic book first. Okay. So we got lots of comic book. Oh, that's my job application. <laughs> I need to shrink them all down. We got like a nice. I want to shrink you all down Stack. and put you in my pocket <laughs> and feed you cookie crumbs. And pie crumbs, and pizza crumbs. Mm. So there were all. some that I just like found, and I was like, I want them. And they were only a dollar because they have a dollar rack. And they're all like the number ones to see if you want to get into the comic book. So the first thing I got was Dun 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 Deadpool the Musical. Okay, I still need to watch the movie, but anything the musical, and it will catch my attention. Supernatural the Musical. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer the musical. Every good thing has had a musical, and I, I want to, like, dig into these and it's see if Justin I'm... It's Dustin for Broadway. <laughs> Deadpool the musical. Um, but I want to see if I if I like the comic book. <laughs> She's just throwing her crumbs at me. I need all your subscribers shrunk down so I can And then another the one I got was the wedding, of, the wedding of Deadpool, which, again, I know absolutely nothing about Deadpool. <laughs> Well, now you'll learn. But, yeah, now I'll learn because, you know, who does Who does? Who does that? Wow. What about it? After that movie, I've still got to watch. Lame. And then I got Miss Marvel, the first one. You're so weird. I love being weird. That's just me. I know. So, we got uh, Miss Marvel, the first one. Yes. I got one called um, Are You Woman Enough to Survive? Bitch Planet, Girl Bitch Gangs, Planet. Caged and Enraged. enraged. Bitch so, Planet. Ooh. You're really missing, like, uncentering it. That's okay. But it's, 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 it's Bitch Planet. Oh, um, I like how that is. That's like the old, yeah, old comic. It's, it's set up like an old. I wonder if you can still get that stuff. Inside it's even set up, it's like dotted and stuff. No, but cool. I mean, back in, when I was younger, if you, you could still, actually. Like, order it? Yeah, they had like the x-ray specs, they had like. Like all this they're cool making, stuff that you could, that you used to be making, able to order. The, they're making jokes about it because here it says order by mail. You know this is garbage, right? You're ordering garbage. Okay, well, you were warned. Send your dad's hard-earned money. But it's actually got an address. It will give you postal service alive a little longer by mailing you some crap. I'm not shipping international, so I, don't I, even try. I want to get the x-ray specs and look at Misha Collins. <laughs> And then another one I found because we talked about how much I like zombies. Da, da, da. Marvel zombies. I mean, okay. okay. Marvel zombies. Okay, though. Like, Marvel zombies. It's like zombies. my two favorite things. Zombies. It's like my two favorite things. Oh, this one's hers. Yes. Oh, yes. This is mine. 
Okay, so as many of you as many of you know, uh, I'm still getting used to this. You gotta help me. Uh, they are supposed to be. They already did. What bringing the show back itself? Yeah, they already brought it back. They're bringing the show back itself. So I personally, I met two of the people from X Files at one time. Not the cool actors. No. Yes, they were cool actors. They were the cool geeky guys, of course. We're geeks, okay? So, I was able to find two X-Files comics for a dollar a piece. 100 penny, see? 100 penny press. And I can't she wait got, to read them. She got these. I love Anne Rice. Anyone <laughs> who's out there that loves Anne Rice. Get her found, up! <laughs> no, I, I found them in the four for a dollar box. The entire one oh, through four. I forgot my bottle opener. Where is your bottle? I don't You're know. changing the subject. I'm sorry. So this is Anne Rice. Uh, this is an Anne Rice servant of the bones, and I don't know. I haven't got to look at it, but I don't know if it's just copies one through four or I if it continues it. on. But the fact that they were only four for a buck, I just I couldn't pass it up, because at the Vault of Midnight, the first Saturday of the month of May is free comic book day. So you so, should come and visit us. If you know where Vault of Midnight is, in Ann Arbor. There. In Ann Arbor, because they have three Can different locations. Do I look beautiful, everybody? So, um, we're going to have... Ayanin does. <laughs> Gorgeous. I don't know why I'm single. Um, we're going to be up there. Inside too. We're going to be up there. My mom's going to be cosplayed. I'm going to be Batman. So we're going to we're gonna chill up there, and we're probably going to be up there for like a couple hours. Probably all day. <laughs> yeah, I love it up there. So you can go up there. You can get, I think it's like three free comic books off yes. the free comic book shelf. Three. They do. Three. three free comics. And in the basement, they have boxes and boxes of comics for, for a dollar. Yep. And they only do that a couple times a year. Yeah. So I was and lucky. We went there today, and they had a couple of boxes. And I'm gonna downstairs. try, and I'm gonna try and vlog it. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be up there, and they do trivia. They do. They're they selling do all kinds stuff. of fun Other stuff. Other places around Ann Arbor are doing it. So yep, they have sales. Um, it's on Main Street, called the Vault of Midnight. Uh, it's a pretty chill place. What is this first Saturday of May? Is it the 8th the or the 6th? The first Saturday of May is the 7th. The 7th. Okay. So, so May 7th. May 7th. Go get your free comic books. Oh. And that's at any comic book place that participates. It's like a national geeky holiday. Yes, it's our it's our geeky holiday of the year. But also at Vault of Midnight, you forgot the tabletop. Tabletop day is April 30th at the Beer Grotto in Ann Arbor. Uh, I'm going to try and go to that too. So if you guys show up and you recognize me, come say hi. So it looks like I have friends. <laughs> she needs friends. I need friends. She needs friends. That's why I wish I could shrink all of you. Just all, shrink you down. All eight of you. Yes, all eight of you subscribers, shrink you down. See, I'm, I'm shrinking you down. So we can put you in our pockets and feed you cookie crumbs. We're going to fat you up. And pizza crumbs. And fat you up. Wait, like wait. Oh. Do you know where the bottle opener is? No. You don't know where... They're twist offs. Okay, so we also got these at the Vault of Midnight. A lot of people will know what this is. Will know what this is if you are a fandom of Harry Potter. A fandom of Harry Potter. A fan. A fandom. A fan. <laughs> if you are an entire fandom by yourself of Harry Potter, you better know what this is. If you are a fan of Harry Potter, <laughs> you'll know what this is. We Rihanna found them. Yeah, they were sitting in the um, cooler in there, and like I freaked out because guys. This is real life butter beer. Like real life non alcoholic butter beer. Non alcoholic butterscotch beer by the flying cauldron. And it's butter butterscotch cream soda, but it's butter beer. And I'm I'm I we're gonna try Again, this. we're telling you it's non alcoholic, so it is kid friendly. <laughs> kid friendly as to so why I'm drinking it. We have never tried this before, but we oh, are trying ow. we are trying ow. it today on On camera. On camera. Okay. So Got this it. is first time try, so if it's gross. Oh my gosh, it smells like heaven. It smells like it smells like It smells like my coffee. <laughs> no. It smells like those liquid you know those little butterscotch discs? Yeah. It smells like liquid them. Okay, okay. ready? Ready? Bottoms up wait, cheers. Cheers to Book Nerd. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. This is like... If this was an alcoholic drink, it would make me test my 12 steps. <laughs> this is... If this was an alcoholic drink, even though I'm not... The this is like a little bottle age. of heaven. If this Honestly. is what Harry and his friends drank, but oh theirs was my hot. God. Oh my god, butterbeer is hot. I don't know if I would want this hot. I wouldn't want this hot, but the butterbeer in the movies is hot. It's like this hot is, cocoa, but it's hot but, butterbeer. But you can get this. But guys, it's like a pretty golden color. Yes, and the bottles are even pretty. 100% natural also. Gluten-free. Gluten-free for so people all you, who can't have for, gluten. So all you non-gluten Yeah, and people. you can get it. We found it at uh, the Vault of Midnight, Midnight, and it is... It was two twenty five for us. Yep. Uh, I don't... This, this is the, the only place that I've... Seen. $2.25 a bottle. This is the only place that I've seen it? Um, yes. I don't know if Flying Cauldron has other drinks that they do. Well, I did see... I forget where it was. It might have been on my Facebook Someone, I think, from the fan... Oh, it was from the triplet triplet fandom uh -huh. group. Which is Geeky Cauldron, Sorcerer's Phone, and Half-Blood Prince. Yes. Uh, the Three Sisters. Someone on their group that we belong to. It is a close group. Sorry, guys. But um, You can apply, I guess. Somebody, but now it's secret, so... Somebody said that they found Butterbeer at their local store. So, so I don't know if it was Flying Cauldron, though. But this was... I think... A magical brew, it says... Oh my gosh, but look at the top of the cap, guys. It's a butterscotch cream soda. It's so cute. I, like, peeled the price tag off because price tags are for nerds. Oh my god, this stuff is heavenly. I've had cream soda, but butterscotch, this is... And it's 100% natural, guys. But, like, guys... 120 calories per bottle. And, yep, so the next video is either going to be... Oh, that's not going to be my vlog. It'll be my wrap-up because i got to film part of it soon. Um... It has been definitely a comic book month. Yeah, I'm reading right now some of the graphic um, novels yeah. that you pulled from the library. Oh, this is lame. Yep. That's okay. We can... Don't ruin the label. We want to keep it. That's a pretty I'm bottle. I'm keeping this bottle. Yes, I'm going to put this bottle in my china cabinet next to my liquid zombie virus. Oh my God, this will probably go on my bookshelf. It's so pretty, and I don't usually drink out of glass bottles, but this is so worth it. It makes me feel like a wizard. You are a wizard, Harry. Ah. Uh, I'm a what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, guys, definitely um, check out Vault of Midnight if you're in the area yep. or you're visiting Ann Arbor. You For know. all you families with kids there. Yeah, yeah, college, because Ann Arbor, Michigan is a college town. So, uh, yeah, check it out, Vault of Midnight. They, they are an awesome comic so book shop. Um, there's a lot to do in Ann Arbor, and not everything has to be super expensive to do. I mean, there's lots of lots of uh, stores downtown. There's you guys can go on. There's a lot of good restaurants. Yep, and, and there's family things you can do. Uh, Ann Arbor is known for their fairy doors all over. Yeah. This, all over the city here, so you can go on a. Is fairy this an advertisement hunt. for Ann Arbor? <laughs> all of you just moved to Ann yeah. Arbor. Yeah. Just all be friends. Yeah, we're a very diverse town. But, I mean, it's just, it's so well, yummy. It's like, it, you know what? Ann Arbor should be geek capital of the world. It could be. It could be. It geek well capital be. of the world, yes. Ouch. There is so much geeky stuff to do. Because what's that other thing that they do once a month? Where they meet, remember one, one month it was for Back to the Future? Geek night. Now yeah. that is alcoholic, and uh, you if you are under 18. That is not alcoholic. It is al <laughs> an alcoholic. <laughs> That is alcoholic. No, that is it is an alcohol. Uh, it happens in a bar. Yeah, it is. It is an alcohol event. So, don't look scared. It's just your stepdad. I don't want him to work. talk. <laughs> Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> so yeah, it. Uh, Vault of Midnight, guys. We found butter beer. So. Chill. Non-alcoholic butter beer. Yeah, but Geek Night does have alcohol, and if yes. you are under 18 and you are in the area... You have to be accompanied by an adult. So, but, yep, that's our book haul for the day. Our comic book haul. So, ah, and, and, I see what you ha, did there. <laughs> and our butterbeer haul, so... Yep, and, um, and our Jared Padalecki haul. <laughs> Jared Padalecki. Oh, the pretty girl. Stop. <laughs>
three. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Let me shrink you down and put you in our pockets and feed you cookie crumbs and pizza crumbs. We'll keep all of you for all of Rihanna's friends. Shrink you down, shrink you down, shrink you.